All right, and we're live. Hey guys, this is John, and welcome to another episode of Using the Clock as a Weapon. I almost said climbing the rating ladder. That would be a big mistake against 2700. No, this is the competitive uh, series where I play five Blitz games, five games, five games only. We stop no matter what after five. We try to stay disciplined. We try to work on time management. It's been an ongoing series, maybe the past, I don't know, two years, potentially a little bit more. And good to see you guys again, YouTube. It's been a while. Hope you're enjoying the World Championship. I'm posting this uh, as five games have been played thus far. So, obviously, if you've been following the match, you know that. <laughs> and spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear the results for whatever reason, just mute this or pause the video. But we are tied through five games. All five games have been drawn. And the games start really early my time. It's a weird move, 98. Uh, I'm just going to play B3. So I haven't been watching them so much live. I did tune into game one. I was pretty excited about that. So I did wake up early for that. But, you know, I've been catching up on the analysis, probably a lot like you guys. Um, let's take with the knight. So it's always interesting to follow uh, the chess world when the, the world championship is on D5. Can't I just take that pawn takes? What's the big deal here? Bishop H3 or something? Bishop H3, I guess, is the plan. I can take with the bishop. I'm really failing to see what Black's idea is here. So let's take first, ask questions later. Okay. Mm. Let's do this one. I want to make sure I keep F2 defended, of course, but I want to have this square available for my bishop. Yeah, just strange moves from Black. I don't think they're particularly good moves, but just very odd. Knight e8, d5, queen d7. <laughs> Hard to get a beat on my opponent. But keep up, keep the, up the pressure here. That's the main thing. Keep the moves flying. Okay, knight c7. Which is good, right? Knight c7, queen f5, queen f6. I take a8, take f2. Got to imagine that's good for me. Let's do it. Okay, and now just offering a trade. Yeah, very strange game. I will take it. Let's offer a rematch. Against Ketamine Overdose. All right, let's play Sicilian. We'll save Scandi for later. All right. Um, I usually just transpose this into an open Sicilian. Uh, Knight f6 now. Okay, this is not a good variation once again for white. Odd stuff here. I just get the sense that white <laughs> is not playing up to uh, the level of a 2700. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't see that move, to be fair. So... <laughs> E6. All right, they don't take B7, though. They're just trying to force through the center. Fair. All right. Uh, B5, maybe? B5 can take on E6. Probably just taking here is best. Yeah, I think just take this. Let's play that. Take, take. If white takes B7, I have bishop C6. Okay, so they're just going to castle, and I think I should get developed ASAP. So can't worry about d5 too much. White's going to have some compensation for sure. How much remains to be determined? Okay, now probably here. Yeah, let's park the bishop on c6. Okay, uh, knight d7 maybe. Knight d7, knight c5. Something along those lines. The knight could come to f5, I suppose. So bishop f6, another option. How about knight here? A little bit of an adjustment. I'm going to try to keep this defended. So if knight f5, I can play, maybe play bishop f6. But I'm thinking about this to try to disconnect the queen from the knight, or at least inconvenience white a little bit. Queen f3. So what about here now? Take e7 with check. Okay. That is a threat, isn't it? All right, let's just get rid of this knight. I think it's time. And then here. Knight f5, maybe rook e8. Okay. Good move, good move. Ugh. 
this is going to get sharp. Guess I'll go here. Ah, 96 is playable, isn't it? Yeah. No, I am slipping big time. I thought I could take here, but this comes with check. That's the problem. All right. Let's look for a queen trade. Try to do something in this end game. Maybe park the knight on d5 as a start. Okay. Not going to take a2 and lose d6. Yeah, let's just get this up. A5 seems useful. Control this square. I have a little bit of play, but should be insufficient, of course, if white plays correctly. But let's try to make it as challenging as possible for my opponent. Maybe I'll play a4. Maybe if b3 is played, I can do this and rotate the knight to e4. Also an idea. Um, let's go ahead and play a4. White might just play a3 against this. I'm not sure. No, it goes back. Okay. So maybe, uh, maybe rook a3 is the idea. So I'm going to go here. Way behind on the clock at this point, of course. Just advances. All right, we're not going to take that. We're going to try to pivot the knight to c4. That's the plan. How do I work my way out of this, though? Ugh. Terrible time management. Okay, they're going forward. I guess they pick up that pawn. <laughs> Not going to make it here. Okay, I think resignable. Yeah, I'm just going to throw in the towel. All right, so I got lulled into a false sense of security based on how they were playing. Let's keep going. Might as well play this opponent again. It was a little hard to get a, a match here. I'm playing later in the evening. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, what do we have this time? Benko Gambit. All right. I did start playing Blitz on chess.com again maybe like two weeks ago. I'd been taking a bit of a break, mainly playing on Lee Chess prior to that. So it is good to be back playing against good competition. There, let's pull this knight back. Haven't played any title Tuesdays recently. Uh, I should mention I have been streaming a lot. So I have been streaming on my Twitch channel quite a bit. If um, you've been wondering where to catch me live, that is the place. All right, let's just get castled here. This should be two castle short. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to mess around too much. It's going to go bishop d2. If black wants the bishop pair, they're welcome to it. But maybe knight back to c3 soon. Yeah, like I'm thinking go here now. Not sure I'm even going to take this because pawn takes. Okay, they back off though. Um, let's bring this out. Kind of rotating pieces through the b5 square, but just to create some annoying threats in the future. d3, maybe? Let's do it. d4, quite possible. Otherwise, black's just going to build up. Okay. I'm thinking maybe bring this knight over here. We'll see what's doing. Yeah, let's go here. Post the knight up. Okay. Hmm. Gonna go a4. This is defended for now. 
Could have taken there maybe, but queen e6. My rook was hanging, knight was hanging. Looks a little too loose at the moment. Okay, so we get the trade. That seems productive. So we get that knight out of our hair. Queen here. How is black going to defend both this and this? Probably mainly this is the threat because queen takes f5, there's bishop b2. So this is the main issue. Ah, they just retreat. Okay. That's fine though. Go here. There's some alignment issues for black for sure. If I move this bishop, I'll be threatening rook takes d5. So that may be coming next. Yeah, let's take. Play this. Okay, very good position. Let's keep rolling with it. Flirt with queen c3 or maybe bishop uh, over to a3. Okay, there. Take, take, queen b3, rook b6. That should be good. This is not a threat, I suppose, though. Here. Let's try it. C4 take. This is defended. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I blundered. Queen here. Rook B3. Not good. Yeah, I guess I got to do this and allow this which I uh, would have preferred to avoid. And I can't take a3 is the point. All right. Let's make this as difficult as possible for them. Check. Now let's hold that off. Gonna give up this pawn. Trying for queen c8 if they take it. Oh, it goes back. Mm. Okay, that is defended, I guess, for now. Takes e7, not working. Yeah, they're playing all the aggressive moves, and they're playing well, but they might have blundered. Oh, I blundered. <laughs> There's a mate threat there. Okay, yeah, I, I totally underestimated this opponent based on that first game. So, all right, let me think what I want to do. Let's play, let's play Scandi. Again, time management has been the biggest thing against them, so play Mises Gambit. I have faced this before, Queen A5. Here, I think. There's some tricks with queen h5, but white didn't play for that. All right. They're going into the tank. Okay, rook b1, um, a6 or c6. I think a6 is probably the right reaction here. Let's do it. Just goes back. Okay, going to come here. Bishop g4 possibly coming up. Obviously, you have to watch b7, though, so... Be aware of that. Let's just play e6. Try to get developed in the short term. Park the bishop here. Uh, 
All right, now I'm thinking about knight e5 as one possibility. Seems interesting. Attack this, also attack down here. And take, take queen h5. That looks reasonable. Let's do it. Starting mate on h2. Okay, bishop a1. Now probably b6, bishop b7 if I get the chance. I think this makes sense. Doing better on the clock here compared to previous games. But still early. All right, watch. Watch them playing a5. Let's maybe attack this, this pawn and see how they react. Okay. So that knight is coming to c4. Just try to be annoying for now. If I can get this knight to c5 later, I don't want to do it necessarily when the bishop's sitting here, but I'm attacking d2 twice. Okay, there. So allowing knight c3. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll play it. I was briefly thinking about keeping that knight, but no. Okay, they're going to give up the exchange instead. Well, all right, let's take that. Let's just make the past a pawn now. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Got to watch the two bishops, of course, like screaming down the board, but can't imagine this is good for my opponent. Okay, here they come. Uh, Rook b8 would have been good there. Let's just keep up the pressure. All right, we get this move in. That's helpful. Thanks, the rook. Yeah, just odd. Odd, odd, odd. Um, but mainly they're playing fast. That's the key thing I have to grapple with. So we get back to an even score. Okay, let's play c4 again. We played at English last time. They did a quick knight c6, knight d4, and that was, that was the very first game that, that turned out well for me. So I don't mind repeating this. And here's where they played 98. Again, 98. Okay, we'll just do the same thing. The long rotation of the knight over. Maybe this time I play, well, it is different this time, but I'll go knight d5. So, eyeing up e7, Black's Knight could be a little bit awkward. They might still try for knight g5, d6, knight h3, something like that. Uh, let's just bring the bishop back first. I think knight g5 could potentially be met by h4. So, a little more of a restrained approach from my opponent here. Let's go queen d2. Mm -hmm. Okay, my eyes are instantly drawn towards this. I like the look of that. I think I'm going to go for that. Seems to work tactically, so let's do it. Just looking for some good knight versus, or a good bishop versus maybe um, a semi-passive knight scenario. Probably they'll save this, though. Bishop d7 would be, or bishop e8. <laughs> okay. Take. Ooh, this is hanging. Looks like I can take it. Maybe queen f6 sometime in the near future. But first, let's just do this. Okay. Probably stopping a5 makes sense, so I'll go here. Be annoying with the queen. Okay. No problem for now. The bishop's covering everything. I might need to trade this off. But let's just wait. I don't want to play f3 and like drop e3, for instance. That would, of course, be a disaster. Let's give a check. 
Okay, so force the, that backwards. I think e4 is appropriate now, especially with this pin working. Huh, offers a trade. Bishop f7 is not working there. Okay. Let's hold off on a trade then. Let's go here and maybe f4 to come. Still looking at e5, not working yet. F4. Now might be time for e5. Very, very soon. Let's do it. Take, take, queen, b6. No. Okay. All right, so queen, c3. Looks decent. Make that black king escape or not. I'm like 0 for a million in predicting my opponent's moves. Okay, take here. Still trying to threaten this at some point. Here, I guess. Now, bishop e6 would be a blunder because a queen takes. Okay, so there. Let's turn the screws now. Pressure here, pressure here. Trade offered. <clears throat> okay. It's a good defense. Next, I need my king involved, and I need to play fast, as always. Trying to bridge my king to come over. This way. Hmm. Black's slowing down quite a bit now. Not sure what to make of that. Happy to take the pawn if they advance, but I don't think they will. All right, let's push. Let's make a pass pawn. Okay, continue pushing. Let's get behind here. What? Wow. Bishop A2. Crazy, crazy. Wow. I'm losing. Yep, definitely losing. Okay. Well played. Yeah. Well, well played. That's my uh, quit number right there. Five games. So, yeah, two for five against that player. I just had a hard time getting a beat on them. They, I felt like they were all over the map in terms of the quality of the moves. Like, <laughs> a couple of the wins were super duper easy, but they constantly pose tactical problems as well. So, I don't know. I, I got to look at some of those games to figure out where I could have played more smoothly. Like in this one, I think I was gradually converting, probably missed some opportunities somewhere, but nothing like obvious stands out to me that I missed. Rook, rookie eight right here is just a good defensive move. And I think after that, it kind of fizzles. I mean, I could take a seven, but then rook takes e5, and I really didn't like this business around my king. Uh, rook f2 would be the move I'd want to play, but then rookie one, and you know, of course, this leads to checkmate. So I'm not quite sure on this one towards the end where I could have improved. 
Yeah. Some of these decisions like taking look so dangerous for Black, but I guess there's really nothing. Black just defended and yeah, I need to play better here. King G2, maybe H3, something like that. Some further improving moves. So that's what I'm working with right now in terms of uh, my own chess. Just trying to get back into the swing of things with Blitz, making solid decisions under time pressure. I know you guys always uh, you know, lament the fact that my time management is bad when this series is using the clock as a weapon. I get it, but not easy to explain your moves and you know, break old habits too. So I'm working on it. But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll uh, probably post another video in the near future. I will be on vacation December 4th through the 8th. I know I haven't been uploading that much anyways, but just as a heads up there, continue enjoying the World Championship. Catch me on Twitch, and I'll see you again in the very near future, hopefully, YouTube. All right. Thanks, guys, as always.